Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be talking about some of the Wings of Fire characters we just need to see more of. Whether it's because they didn't appear enough in the books or there's just so much potential for what could be written about them. This video does contain spoilers for Arc 3 so please keep that in mind. Before we get into the video, a huge shout out to my patrons. Crazy Roblox Man, Dark1195, and Three Moons. Thank you all so much for supporting me. Links to their social medias are in the description down below. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. I've always thought that Hailstorm was one of the most interesting ice rings we've seen so far in the series, yet we haven't seen anything written from his perspective. He's such a complex character, and honestly feels like we've been robbed and out of more written about him. Something like this feels like it could easily be done through a winglet since we've missed that time gap for him to have appeared in the series with the POV chapter. The Hailstorm is just too interesting of a character to pass up, and he might honestly be one of my top three favorite Ice Wings. The Pyrite spell just added a whole new level to his character, and I could just feel his pain in knowing remembering him and feeling confused in his own scales. The amount of emotion and hurt I felt while reading those chapters gently made them so memorable. I'd love to see Winglet or other piece of content centering around Hailstorm's life as Pyrite, and then his life after, with flashbacks to his early Icewing days battling the memories of such a free persona. I really hope we get back to Hailstorm's character. As of the Dangerous Gift, he was still recovering from the longing of the spell. Seeing the memory presented to us in the Flames of Hope with all the Icewings playing just made me realize how much I want to see more of Hailstorm, and I really wish we'll get to see Slink someday other than just a page in the guidebook. Queen Monarch is yet another Wings of Fire character I can't help but find myself interested in. If we were to get a Legends book on the Tree Wars, I would love to hear more about her. I personally see her as just a character rather than a POV, since she wasn't heavily involved in the war due to giving up the throne, but nonetheless, Monarch should still have a decent amount of focus. I want to learn more about the seemingly forgotten Silkwing Queen. I think she has a ton of untapped potential for a bit of a story. I have a personal headcanon that the Silkwings show their history in queens through tapestries, and when Wasp took over, she burned all of them to erase that past. To be able to ever include this, a scene of Monarch watching the legacies of those who lit before her burn will be something incredibly emotional and tense, making it all the more satisfying when Wasp is later beat. I just think there should be more to Monarch's character than just the Silkwing who gave up the throne. Maybe we even see a twinge of regret as the tapestries burn, but she realizes she can't go back now. It would make for a very fitting end to Legends book, as the Leafwings were now defeated, too. Speaking of the Leafwings, I need to see more of Queen Sequoia. Hazel's honestly my favorite Leafwing, so I hope we get more of her, but seeing Sequoia in a possible Tree Wars Legends book would be awesome. She'd definitely be one of the POV characters, too. Sequoia is just a strong dragon and an underrated queen in the community. I want to see her fighting spirit now she tried to protect her tribe from Wasp's hold. It would be incredibly interesting to see her transition from a more rageful self to a tranquil one after she resolved to it when the war concluded. I just want to see Sequoia kick some high wing butt. Those action scenes could be amazing and overall her character just deserves some more page time as she has evolved. Heading back to Pyra, Princess Greatness may very well be one of the most underrated and forgotten gems in Wings of Fire. For anyone who doesn't remember her, Greatness is Battle Winner's daughter and the one who spoke for her mother because of her condition. Despite not being classified as fit for a queen, Greatness is still an intriguing character with an aura of mystery still surrounding her. I want to see more of Greatness, perhaps in a future winglet exploring her early days of taking over, her strained relationship with Battle Winner, and how she feels now with Glory ruling over both tribes. Greatness ultimately made the final decision to save her subjects of her kingdom, and I have a lot of respect for that. Greatness just deserves more depth and involvement. I think she has a ton of potential, especially in a smaller story of some kind, just showing the state of Pyra throughout recent history. On the topic of forgotten characters, Mayfly is one Mudwing I will never forget, despite her small and easily missable character. With only appearing briefly in Winter Turning, Mayfly was the Mudwing healer who helped Kinkaju after she was put in a coma. Proclaimed the best healer in possibility by Meerkat, Mayfly surely does know her stuff. She just came off as a character bursting with potential because of her unseen story, and I loved how real she felt when we briefly saw her. Her home of possibility just in and of itself is something I want to see more of, so if you ever got a winglet centered around modern-day Pyra and towns like possibility, Mayfly is a must-have. 
It'd be super cool to maybe learn a bit about her history as she tells the story to a curious patient. Not only would it expand Pyra and the war's impact just a little more, but it would also add a ton of depth to a seemingly unimportant or throwaway character. And lastly, another dragon I am just pegging to see more of is Osprey. The kindness he showed to Peril is truly unmatched, and I don't think I respect a Skyling more. Seeing a winglet about his time with Peril, possibly even being the one to actually raise her rather than just teach her, would be super sweet and add just a little more to that past history and relationship. He was incredibly involved in Peril's life prior to his death, and I'd do anything to see that. A winglet showing his kindness to a young Peril could honestly make me cry. I feel like this would have so much emotion and potential. But anyways, what do you guys think? Is there a character not on this list you want to see more about? Let me know down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.